<clears throat> so a living testimony at the age of 13, Janelle Peart was told by doctors that she would not make it. After doing major, sur major surgery and despite the trauma of illness, she is still here today. And today, having graduated from university, she's inspired to share what she has gone through with others. And so we welcome Janelle to Smile Jamaica. Good morning to you, Janelle. Hi, good morning, Simone and Delia. Good morning. It's so good to be able to talk to you this morning. Um, your journey has been very, very unique. You knew from an early age that you were not well from the age of eight. Tell us what, um, what led you to the discovery. Um, well, the discovery really came about when my parents realized that my insole in my feet was flat. So they decided to bring me to the doctor and they went and they went about finding out what was wrong. After all of that, they then went on to realize that, well, I was at school one day and I heard a hissing sound in my ears and for some reason, I guess I fainted or blocked out and they had to bring me to the doctor same time. And that's when the testing started to happen to find out what was really going on. And yeah. at that point you were diagnosed with, with muscular dystrophy. N couple years down the line after trying to figure out because they were still trying to figure out tests were done but at around age eight, um, 13 that's when they really diagnosed me with muscular dystrophy okay yeah okay. Uh, the whole journey janelle is, has just been a journey of faith i mean you had to do scoliosis correction surgery and with all of the possible things you say that could go wrong everything went right hmm. everything went right um, at what point, um, and I'm sure there are others who are listening who are going through this experience, at what point would yourself or your parents feel like, this thing is not going to defeat me, you know, I, you know, I, I will be well? Uh, I believe that I would say, or right, for me, I'd say I was the strongest out of everyone in the family, in the sense that my parents could never really understand why it was that despite all these odds being so big and scary and they're all against me and nothing good seems to be able to come out of this i still said i wanted to do the surgery um the reason why i really kept pushing is because i saw nothing negative that could have come out of it but something that i could have gained in doing the surgery i would be out of pain and i would be i'd have a chance at a better life can you tell us what, what dystrophy is for those who are watching and don't know? So muscular dystrophy is a deterioration of muscles. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so you, 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 by 13, you said you had been diagnosed. There's just... In common terms, let's say muscle weakness. So the muscle is weak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, t how, how does it feel on your 13th birthday when you're about to do major surgery and you know the outcome? Um, as Dalia mentioned, everything went right, God be praised. But at 13 years old, when you're looking to, you know, any 13-year-old is looking to um, a full life, a healthy life, maybe a little party and so on. How did, you, how did you process in that moment, Janelle, what was happening to you as a 13-year-old child? All right, so Janelle, we're having an issue with her. Mm -hmm. Her link, but we will um, we'll see if we can rectify it. Um, at 13, when she was told she needed to have the surgery, mm -hmm. the doctors, they say, knew all the possible risks, and the risks included uh, paralysis, uh, three months on a, on a, on a machine, mm -hmm. respirator, um, and they said she could also die, but um, as she told us earlier, she was a st strong one, and she pushed, and she's, she's still here. Mm -hmm. um, she's back with us. Yes. Janelle? Yes. Ma yes, ma'am. So tell us what you've done. You've done well for yourself. So you went to Eltham High, um, despite all the obstacles, you sat your subjects, and you were successful. Then you went on to Jago, and you went on to UA. Tell us what you studied at UA. I studied animal biology and psychology. Interesting. 
animal biology and psychology. Tell me about your interest in those areas. Well, I studied animal, but when I was really led to animal biology, um, I initially went to you. We wanted to do biochemistry, but chemistry was giving me a fight. And there's a thing that a lecturer told me later on, three years later, that made me really understand that I just have to accept the fate. Dr. Eric Garway said to us in a lecture theater one day that we need to accept realize our limitations and accept it and move forward and that was when i really realized that my switch wasn't just a my switch was not a failure but my path was being led here and i decided to study the psychology because i was really fascinated with the mind i really wanted to understand what was really going on in the minds of others or to really understand others, how best I can, you know, understanding a person's ability or mind, how well that can help me to communicate with them. Mm -hmm. Well, but you, you have a strong mind. I mean, you're saying um, you completed your degree, but a couple of years ago, you lost feeling in your legs for a couple of days. You missed school. There was a time you couldn't stand without, without just falling because the muscles will just fail you, but you still kept going to school. What drives that in Janelle? Uh, I believe what drives that within me is because I believe there's a purpose for me being here, as well as I know I have the support of others around me. So a lot of times when I feel like I can't push anymore, the persons that are around me saying, Janelle, I know who you are. You've gone through this and you've gone through that. You are more than capable. And I remember losing the feeling in my leg and everything. That was really scary because with muscular dystrophy, it's a part where you can get to the stage of paralysis. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, is this it? But it was so abrupt. And one thing for sure, my department was there supporting me. The transportation personnel were there supporting me. Like to get to Spanish Town, the bus drivers there would put me on the bus. And if they have to lift me, they lift me. When I'm on campus, there was a specific bus driver, Mr. Wright. He's no longer with us. I would always call him to come for me and one thing i can say for sure if it is that i can't move he would lift me and put me in the bus as well as i i, I had other personnel on staff at ue that were assisting me especially the the office for student services so you had support was, you had support, support literally to, to help you to stand up when you when you couldn't literally and figuratively, and that's a part of, of why you are where you are. We have to go, Janelle, but we want to send folks to go to your YouTube channel. It's up, right, Janelle Peart? Yes, it is. Janelle Peart's a living testimony. Okay, so that's G-I-N-N-E-L-P-E-A-R-T, a living testimony. Folks, go and watch Janelle Motivational speaking on her YouTube page. Thank you so much, Janelle, for sharing your story, and God bless you. All right, Janelle, okay. diagnosed with muscular dystrophy, but only a part of her story, sharing her story this morning of triumph with us. Next. Up oh. next, Garden of Gethsemane, the James Forbes story. That's something you absolutely don't want to miss.